Welcome to the Toby Collins Coaches Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing. I'm Bob Sullender, along with the head coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Coach Toby Collins. Jaguars defeated Germantown 31-0 on the road. Great win for, for the Jaguars. Uh, offensively, Vic Sutton was 12 of 22 for 237 yards passing the ball. Isaiah Spencer was all over the place, four catches for 153 yards. Blake Gunner had five catches for 41 yards. Jake Norris and Thomas Nichols also added some yards and that kind of thing. And rushing the ball, um, the, the Jags really played well as, as well. But, uh, you know, you really, we took, Coach, uh, congratulations first on the win. And we really talked about, uh, you know, adding that pass in and getting those uh, passes down the field. And it seems like y'all y'all have really done that the last couple Yeah, of I think it's uh, still a work in progress. You know, we, we started off the year kind of shaky in that, that regard. Uh, ran into a couple of teams that were able to just match up man with us, made it very difficult for us to throw the football. I think Vic has settled into kind of a groove. And, uh, you know, first half the other night, I think he was on fire. Uh, you know, we were clicking on all cylinders, run, pass. Came out in the second half, I think we started reaching a little bit. We started trying to get outside the, the offense a little bit and, and tried to do too much. So we've got to calm that down some, and that's just that's part of learning. Uh, you know, it's very refreshing to see DeAndre pull and go out there and, and run the ball the way he did, and also to get Blake's, Blake Gunner back involved in the pass game. You know, he had, he's had several targets on the year. We just haven't been able to get him the ball. Thought he played well. Uh, so, you know, rival game, you know, Cross County rival. I know it would. Uh, that game means a lot to a lot of people. So I know the emotions were kind of running high in the game, and you tend to make some mistakes when the emotions are high. Yeah, uh, last week uh, DeAndre Pullen running running everywhere on the uh, defensive side of the mm -hmm. ball, making tackle after tackle. Right. This week running everywhere, 106 yards running the ball, mm -hmm. and 14 carries and a touchdown. He was everywhere, and then you. Hey, that, oh, by the way, we forgot Robert Dumas Jr. He, you yeah. know, the starter. Yeah. He, he had a great game as well, and just really was able to run the ball. And that's where it starts. The big guys up front um, and pass protection, and really just a blocking down the field. They had a great game as well. That's the fun part about you know th this group of guys offensively is those. Those, those five guys up front, six guys up front, because, I mean, you got, you know, we've got Cheeto got, uh, that comes in, one of our, I guess, our sixth offensive lineman, and they take a lot of pride in in running the football. Um, you know, if you ask any of them, hey, should we pass the ball at all, they say no. You know, they want to run it every down right. and kind of force feed people, so they take pride. And then that's, that's kind of a testament to, I guess, our identity offensively is we want to be a hard-nosed, physical uh, offense and run right at people. The offensive line really did well and with opening up those seams and that kind of thing. And, and generally, it's always up front is where it happens. Mm, absolutely. Up next, we'll talk about what happened on the defensive side of the ball for the uh, Jags' victory over Germantown, 31-0 over the road on the road. Uh, Madison Central Football will continue right here on mcbigblue.com and Super Talk Mississippi 97.3 FM. Quality, integrity, and excellence. Kincaid's Fine Clothing, Old Town Square, Ridgeland. Welcome back to the Toby Collins Coaches Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing. I'm Bob Sullender, along with the coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Coach Toby Collins. Jaguars all over Germantown, 31 to zero on the road. And defensively is where it happened. The Mavericks only six passing yards on 17 passing attempts, only 130 total yards. Uh, Vic Hollins led the team with 12 tackles. JT Evans had 10 and uh, just all over the place on the defensive side of the ball. And you know, you don't, you know, they say offense sells tickets, defense wins championships. And, and that's what it looked like on Friday night. Yeah, we're playing really good football on that side, on that side of the ball, on both sides of the ball. But uh, you know, it's refreshing to, to know if you know if you go out and you get a three and out or you stall out on offense and put your defense back out there that you know the last several weeks they, they're getting stops you know they're getting stops and allow us to get the ball back get some things adjusted and go down and score so you know playing uh, good on both sides of the ball and we complement each other on, on both sides of the ball and you know these guys are making a bunch of plays and, and the and the crazy thing about it is is you know we've been without CJ Barney since week two, and uh, arguably one of our better players. I'm not saying he's the best player we've got on defense, but he's arguably one of the better players we've got on defense, the, definitely the most disruptive guy. So we're doing that without his presence on the field, and we're about to get him back. So it's going to be, 
really be fun to watch as uh, he gets back in the mix on that as well. Yeah, and this league, it's really uh, the next man up. Absolutely, uh, next man up, and uh, that's kind of the mentality we've got on that side of the ball. The, the third rail of the, the game, of course, is special teams. Matt Zulawaga, 23-yard field goal, and uh, just uh, you know, big time with them when it comes for the you know the extra points and, and punts. He, he seems to be a weapon that you. Find. Yeah, Max has come really come on on in, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, changed up practice routines. Uh, I think he's gotten a little bit more comfortable. You know, in his deep kicks, also you know, field goals and punting. And uh, I don't. Sometimes I don't think Max understands how talented he could be, and uh, he's starting to kind of settle into that role and doing a good job. Up next, we'll talk about this week's opponent, the Murrow Mustangs, tonight right here from the Jungle, a game that was uh, scheduled to be at Murrow but uh, has been moved to the Jungle. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Right here on the Madison Central Football Network, MCBigBlue.com, and Super Talk Mississippi 97.3 FM. Football is all about teamwork, hard work, and dedication. Kind of like selling cars. And Gray Daniels? Well, we're the best in the game. As the largest volume dealer in the state, you won't find lower prices on new Fords, Chevys, Nissans, or Toyotas anywhere else than at Gray Daniels. No matter what brand you pick, you always get the best price in town. And that's what's called having skin in the game. Visit any of our Gray Daniels locations in Jackson or Brandon today. Back to the Tubby Collins Coaches Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing. I'm Bob Sullender, along with the coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Coach Toby Collins. Tonight, the Jaguars host the Murrah Mustangs, coming to the game 1-8 in the season, 0-5 in, in region play. This game was originally scheduled for on the road, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who's across from you, Coach, when it comes to uh, the other team, 0-5, 5-0. Um, it's the next man up, and that's the same thing for Murrah Mustangs coming to town. Yeah, you know, something we've talked about since since the beginning is, uh, you know, this group of kids wants to be considered a championship contender. And, uh, you know, we've told them the, all along, it doesn't matter who you're playing. You know, if you, if you really truly want to be a championship team, it doesn't matter who you're playing. You play the game the way it's supposed to be played. You play it fast. You play it physical. And we've kind of preached that all week. And, I, you know, our kids hadn't batted an eye. You know, Murrah obviously struggling a little bit on the year. Um, you know, and it, you, you can't put your finger on one thing. I mean, you know, I think Marcus Gibson's the head coach over there, does a great job um, it, with, the, with the kids at Murrah. But, um, you know, we, we focus more on us this week and, and eliminating all those turnovers we had last week, um, you know, preaching that we can still be better defensively, uh, preaching that there's still some things that we're leaving on the field in special teams. So we've spent a lot of time on fundamentals and trying to get – uh, make ourselves better, make ourselves aware that uh, we're not where we want to be right now. A lot of times uh, when you have an opponent like this, you, you might want to step back the intensity and that kind of thing, but that, that can lead to injuries as well. Yeah, no, you can't, you can't step back. Now you may, at this point in the year, you need to probably back off on the number of, you know, live plays that you're running in, in, in practice. It's kind of funny, went back a few years ago and looked at how we were practicing because it seemed like our kids were kind of losing a little, uh, the, enthusiasm or whatever towards the end of the year and we, we looked at the way we were practicing and realized that you know on, on any given Monday Tuesday or Wednesday our kids were running 70 75 plays and uh, that's probably excessive when you got a game on Friday night so this time of year we start backing off the number of plays and make sure we're working smarter not harder yeah a lot to play for tonight too absolutely. Regions four and one in the region play currently a three-way three tie of yeah log jam absolutely first. yeah it doesn't get any easier does no it, it doesn't yeah. you, you still got to play every week all right, uh, tonight, Madison Central Murrow, when we come back to the field, right here on the Madison Central Football Network, mcbigblue.com and Super Talk Mississippi 97.3 FM.